Welcome to video three in RGN's Apex On The Fly coverage, brought to you by Comtron, which is exhibiting at stand 1942. RGN contributing editor Seth Miller has been getting connected on the show floor. Over to you, Seth. Ancillary revenue means big money for airlines, but far too often travelers see it as a punishment. In-flight maps provider Flight Path 3D needs to rebuild the business model in what company president Duncan Jackson describes as delivering timely and relevant opportunities to travelers, rather than just another on-screen ad or generic duty-free cart. The first step towards that is a new partnership with Uber launching this week at the show. This is where we can personalize it, and at the moment it is defaulted for the W Hotel San Francisco. If we were to pick an exact location, you can now see that we can navigate the journey to the W Hotel, and we've got the opportunity here to pick Uber. We drop to Uber, now we can look at both the UberX pricing here with a special offer and we complete There's some information here with a one-click submit. Your Uber ride is requested and you're done. And up here you can see that Uber's already in place. The streaming IFE in a box market remains strong on the show floor this year. Fitech demonstrated its prototype solution with movies and other content available on demand and some compelling admin features. So once you're streaming your movie, I can tell you that breakfast will be served soon, which I can dismiss and carry on. Um, if there's a, an announcement that I don't want you to have the ability to dismiss, I can tell you that there's a public announcement in progress. You know, please remove your headphones so that you can listen to the announcement. And that actually pauses the playback in addition to putting the message up. Correct, correct. And then you can't resume that, but I can resume that for you. AirFi is growing its footprint as well, picking up its first customer in the Middle East region. So they got a strong reference uh, through one of our other customers and, uh, and found us to be a very flexible, cost-effective uh, platform and able to deliver to them a in-flight entertainment platform within only six weeks. Airbus is talking up connected aircraft this week. As of mid-2017, Talus, Panasonic, Zodiac, and Rockwell Collins will all be able to offer line-fit connectivity on all new Airbus aircraft coming out of the factory. GoGo, Viasat, and Global Eagle are not there yet, though they are all working to change that as new aircraft orders are signed. Panasonic announced two new deals for its KU Band X Connect product this week. Air Tahiti Nui is a new customer on the platform, with its four new 787 Dreamliners set to be delivered in line fit with the product. China Eastern also expanded its commitment to connectivity on its long haul fleet, with new delivery 787s and A350s also now under contract. Finally, the much-anticipated activation of Inmarsat's Global Express product was announced during the show. Lufthansa is the first carrier to turn on the system, with a single aircraft running in soft launch mode. More planes are expected to be fitted rapidly into the end of the year and beyond. Travelers will soon be able to fly the newly branded GX for Aviation in Europe and beyond. That's it for our Apex on-the-fly coverage from the Apex Expo in Singapore. Thanks again to our sponsor, Contron. Visit RunwayGirlNetwork.com for more industry news and analysis from the Apex Expo.